Can okay, you describe can adjustable segments? I'm uh, talking about detail from looks to success. Describe adjustable segments. An adjustable segment. I'm going just off of looks, and I'm saying that's an average girl. So average women would be a five, okay? An average woman today is overweight. Single. So I would say a girl that's an adjustable <laughs> seven is just not overweight. She's just a woman that is the normal weight a person should be, mm -hmm. but then she's also like like she's she's just pretty but like the thing is so most women are not pretty enough. without makeup let's so, be honest so, oh, so there's no makeup and i don't even wear makeup girl got lashes on what's that you lashes? taking it but she had to force me to put my lashes on literally but what's the Other but, that, but like I, so that means looks so that means looks is enough for y'all Yes, yes, looks is all that matters. A woman does. doesn't need substance for y'all to marry her. No, 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 no. no. Well, looks, not, uh, no. looks is to get in, in the, the door. door. It's the, it's the, it's the top of the so priority. Y'all are you so can be, picky at you, this point. No, what's no, no. Let me tell you like it's this. Actually, no. Actually, if, it's way easier for us than it is for y'all. Y'all, y'all have a hundred things that y'all want a guy to have, and if he has just ten or fifteen of them, yeah. like, like y'all will choose them. A guy though, it's literally just be loyal, fucking be complimentary to my life, fucking don't annoy me, and be pretty. It's and and fuck me, and that's it. It's really not that complicated for a What you about to say, I Red Pill? I was going to say, if you look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, I don't give a fuck about how good your personality is, bitch. <laughs> I want a beautiful woman. I don't want a fat old. I, get, so, I, I, have get worked a, my, I have worked my way up in life to actually demand for you to actually follow your BMI. I'm not a rich nigga, but I don't want no bitch that just don't want to follow rules at all. Okay. Fuck that. If you can't lock the fridge, if you can't stop eating, it's a last bite. Fight it. Throw the motherfucker. Yeah. Make a red set a record. Every time you see the last bite, I threw it 45 feet last time. What this time I threw it 52 feet because I lost five pounds. <laughs> Bitch, make something happen. <laughs> what were you saying? Okay, so I get what you I get where you're coming from. <laughs> Honestly, in a world that we're living in, don't no man want a female that's bringing in majority of everything. They don't want how, especially how, calories. Can, can I? Know, why is that? Why, why is that? Because no, 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 no. Uh, she's, actually, hey, Sierra. Actually, why there's tons that? of girls. There's, there's actually tons of guys that would take that woman. They're but they're fucking simps and they're lying to get sex. Uh, this is something I bring up a lot. Okay, all men lie to y'all. All men lie to y'all yeah. to get sex. There's no incentive for a guy to be honest to y'all ever. Because if we're honest, if we say we don't like hoes, we don't like a girl with a high body count, if we don't like a girl that fucking makes money, we miss out on pussy. You will not get to fuck that girl if you tell her these things that turn her off. So we lie all the time. Women, women, uh, women like, like we lie, women buy. That's how it works. We have to lie. So and like that's women are buy. And that's the so whole world. The whole world lies to y'all. But marketing, fucking products. We have to fucking lie to y'all. What's y'all opinion? Hey, Sierra. What's I know Sierra had a question. We got yeah, about to the other side Please of the table. Let her speak. Yeah, I'm on, yeah, yeah. Go ahead really quick. Go ahead. I was saying about the guys don't give, don't care about like your money and everything. They care about your looks and everything. I'm giving like an example because I've had a guy that I was talking to. We went to the mall. He bought me a Louis Vuitton bag, right? Mm. It's more so how it made him feel like walking around the mall, being able to carry my just the note, looking at me like <laughs> yeah. me looking pretty and everything. That's it's the satisfaction for men. I think somebody it's not so much that he bought it for me. It's more so that he got to walk around the mall with me looking pretty with mm. the Louis Vuitton bag in the hand. That, that makes him look good in that situation. Who's the prize mm. in that situation? The man that guy the is a I mean, simp because wait, or did, or did he fuck you? Did you give him some pussy? I mean, we were, yeah. I mean, okay, then no, he's not a simp. As long as it's an equal exchange of value, he's not right. a simp. But if a, if a guy just buys you a bag and he gets nothing in return, he a simp. He, he is unequal me, exchange of value. Right? Ladies, in that no, no. situation. Well, well, Sergio. I have an opinion. Most of the time, the guys like to brag. Girl, did Are you, you done you eating? eating? What you over there eating? Did you, you finish food, eating before? I need you to go take a piece right now and drink some water. <laughs> a pee in there, but hold Piss on. Did this. you have a question? What were you saying? This no, patty. I was just telling oh. baby girl to her food. Yeah. Did you have a question? I, I got a question for the men yeah, and yeah. women, and I'm going to use myself as an example and what my men tell me. What? He knows as a... I know this... Okay, yeah, I know this has nothing to do with him. This has everything to do with my high achieving ass. Okay, I am in masters. I, you know, I'm getting my masters. I'm a PhD. real estate, real estate, um, and um, teacher certification. Mm -hmm. I tell my cousin all the time, like, 
this is for me afterwards. Like, if any, God forbid, if anything was to happen with me and my man, like, me and Mike, we're good. Like, you know, we're good. Let's do the okay? meat counter. And you know what he yes. said? I said, baby, does that bother you? Do my ambition and the, the, the does that bother you? He said, no, I don't give a damn if you ever make more money than me, but you would never pay the bills. You would never. Like, I don't That's care. All of that is for you, shit. but you would never. So, yeah, I'm going to say, baby, I want you to make more money than me. But he was like, I don't give a fuck. You would never be the provider. You would never pay the bills. You would never, basically, you would Hold never on. be the dick in this Hold relationship. Have, have, you ever, have you ever called him a bitch ass nigga? I would I'm just so never. Con- I'm just so confused because you said you're going to ask a question. What was your question? You said- How do y'all feel about that for a man to say, He's baby, bullshit. you can make you can make more money than me. I don't care, but you would never be the it's, provider of this family. Yeah. Okay, then yes, that's how it should always be. But also, like the reason why he doesn't care about your money is because like we're not like we're not supposed to care about your money. That's of why he doesn't give a sh- fuck about. He you. never asked me. You know what? I come from a women of family. We know how to, and like I tell my mama, no, love you, mama, no, hope you no, never no, watch no, this. No, but, but you know how to make a man lazy. And I had that shit in myself. Oh, baby, I got it. Oh, baby, I got it. You're supposed to have. Oh, baby, it. I got it. He is about put your money. I don't you give a fuck what lazy. you. I don't care what you what got. The fuck put is your you money. Talking up. about lazy. Le- Re- no, women listen. that got careers leave ninety percent of the time. No, when I, I don't say, give a fuck about your career, when nigga. I say, we just had the example. When I say when making men lazy, this dude. Oh my gosh, my mother was. My mother was the type to work doubles, work put in overnight works and stuff. Can you land the plane? Hmm? Can you land the plane? No, I, well, you asked the question, so I'm just giving to you. But a woman, no, a woman make a, a, a woman make a man lazy, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Right, if so a man want to accept a woman's question. Okay. Is mom's married? Is that the bottom line? My mother is married. She is married right now? But this is not. Come on, man. Y'all got to no, Okay, so my mother, she's married and she. She was just an ambition she, woman, bro. Before she got in this marriage, she was the the woman to always carry majority of the weight like literally exactly so, so so hold on hold on hold on hold on so here this is the problem today we want to always know why everything's fucked up because when your example your whole life is that that's what you become you, you miss are, your I environment said, is your destiny no but 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 you want to know why you're so you what you want all this stuff on your own you want to be the like you, like you it's think that you're big. so equal and so much stuff that all comes from your past it all comes from you seeing it and then that's what you become People do that all the time. Your your environment is your destiny. But I you think can you deny it as much I as you said. want. But that's who you like. I'm just like my father. I I can't stop it. Like I can't stop it. That's I saw that man for fucking 18 years of my life. He's my DNA. I'm gonna become just like him. That's just how shit works. And there's not uh, the the problem today is whenever we try to defend it all day long. When we try to sit here and always defend it and think that it's the right thing or sit there and always try to argue for it. Put it down. Your femininity is way more powerful. You do what you move mountains with your femininity. This masculine energy doesn't do shit for the world, for your family, for your man. It doesn't do shit for nothing. You know who profits from it? Feminism, society, the 1%. That's who profits from you fucking acting this way. But your man does not. Your family does not. So my point exactly, you missed the whole fucking point. Your mind got clattered up with all the things I said that I was doing and that I'm an ambitious woman. You missed the fact that I straight up say, you can say, what's your point? What's your point? My point is, I've seen a work, a hardworking mother. I've seen an ambitious woman. And I straight up asked my man, you cannot say, just because this is what you're getting from me, my man don't get that. I'm sorry, you're not my nigga. You're not my man. He gets a whole nother part of me. So when I sit there and I ask my man, does my ambition bother you how does this make you feel as a man that's me recognizing the trauma recognizing the woman that raised me and asking him this like i said i'm doing all of this to prepare if something was to happen to me and him yeah, you're, you're, we're you're good. Now. You know, yeah, we're know. good. We're I good. Know. So it's nothing that it has nothing to do with me trying to make. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, gonna, to end it really easily for you. Okay. This it's very simple. Men cannot say how they really feel. Say your man really doesn't like it. He can't fucking say it. He can't. Very few men can fucking say it. I agree with that. You I can't. Totally so that's why you My think My man that- is so fucking truthful. It pisses me the fuck off. Our main arguments be over him telling me the raw fucking truth. And that's, that is our main and argument. You know, and, and, and you know how but sad it is? And you know how it's, it's sad it is? It's not sad. It comes with growth. Your man's honest with it you and it turns into gro- arguments. That's no, it sad. Comes, yeah. no, it's not sad because no. after it comes with growth, you have to understand truth hurts at first. But at the end of the day, regardless on how we end it, when we come 
come back, we are having growth conversations. We are breaking down trauma. We are breaking down generational curses. So it starts that way because of defense mechanism. But afterwards, we come back in a beautiful space to where we're now understanding and breaking down. It doesn't start that way from down. defense mechanism. It starts that way because you saw your mother it's do a it, and that's who you it are. It starts with a conversation. It doesn't matter how it starts. As long as that conversation is starts, it matters how it is. Honestly, it starts with going to therapy and you getting all that trauma out yourself to another person, not taking it out on your man. You don't get it. You, you <laughs> okay, it no. Okay. Y'all, I'm you not going to lie. It. Somebody at 1035 <laughs> said no, no one, one cares. cares. Can we move? Yeah, hey, I don't uh, go, 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 go to go last super yeah, chat. Yeah, let's do the last Please. super chat really Six quick. Minutes. We're going to land here. We're going to land this plane, guys. Would you rather be People are completely literally leaving. Hold on. Yeah. Oh Hold on, everybody stop. Would you rather be with a complete little dude who's 5'8", overweight, and makes 40K, or a 6'3", Chad, who makes 100K, but he cheats occasionally? Real quick. Real quick. Just fly through this. 6'3", yes. Chad, one? because I don't know nothing about it. Come on, now. <laughs> oh. You said I want to be in my delusional world, so baby, take the 6'3". That's cheating right. on you, you, but you don't know nothing the about three. it. Mm. Hold your stance, I take babe. The... I t- I'm gonna take. The, Did you answer? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the money because I can. I can do whatever I want okay. with that money a, besides him. They're, they're six three. A hundred k. What are y'all talking about? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the six three. Take the six three. Yeah. Hey P. You said, said what I had to she say. Said, she said right. she gone. She rocking with Chad. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm rocking with Chad. If I had to. Okay. Pick. Yeah. All right. So why does everybody value money so much? What, what do you want? Hold on. We were we're into the show after that, man. Sorry. Yeah, we were just going through that one. No, it's already too late. Uh, there was no other super chats, right? Nope, that was it. Okay, guys, sorry, we gotta fucking end this. We gotta land this fucking plane here. <laughs> hey, y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality, desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.